Hey guys, welcome to another video. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to make like a levitating part, a little animation thing in Majiggy. I don't know what to call it. It's like a cool effect. I guess you'll see in time. So I guess we can start off making like our little stand and stuff. So I guess I'm just gonna make a little stand, make a platform, make it smaller. All right. I don't know, just do whatever you'd like. Make your weird little podium thingy. Yeah, just like this. I guess this works. Now, at the top, you can put any part you'd like to rotate. I'm just gonna make this gold, because it looks like it's meant to be gold so there we go we got a nice little part I guess I'm just gonna I'm gonna make a square so it'll be a better example of its rotation since if it's square it'll be more visible that it's rotating all right so now I'm gonna group the stand and I'm gonna rename this part to special so we can do this two ways. We can either do two scripts or put it in one script, but I suggest you do it in two scripts. So in the part you want to rotate and do things, press the plus, insert script. This is going to be our floating script, so it goes up and down. So you can name this float. Oh yeah, don't don't judge my ugly script editor theme. I was messing around and I'm not done, but I'm gonna make a video with it anyways. So first we're gonna make a while true do loop. This is just pretty much just gonna loop while true. Since we're not really checking anything, if it, anything is true yet. I, uh, yeah, so. Then we're gonna do for i equals one. Oh wait, actually it's not for i equals one. Actually, yeah, for i equals one comma four do so this is going to repeat four times and because we want it to go up four times and then we want it to go down four times because like we don't want it to keep going up we want it to float in like this nice little clean animation so now i want to do script our parent c frame c frame stands for coordinate frame and it's pretty much the coordinate like x y z then we can do equals script dot parent dot c frame. We're getting the script's parent, which is the part, and then its coordinate frame. Now we're going to add on to its coordinate frame. So we're going to plus vector three dot new. So this is just making like a new look vector. I'm not exactly sure what the vector stands for, but it's like a new position. Then we're going to do zero. And let's do let's say zero point one zero. So this is pretty much just going to increase the rotation, or I mean the height of the part by 0 0.1 studs which might not seem that much but it looks pretty clean in the animation now we can add a weight this can be like the delay on how long you want it to take to do the full loop it's gonna do like 0 0.1 for now now we're pretty much gonna do this exact same thing down here for i equals 1 4 do script dot parent dot c frame or coordinate frame equals script dot parent dot c frame plus vector three dot new but this time we're gonna do minus 0 0.1 because we want to subtract instead of add position so it goes back down we're gonna wait 0 0.1 just like that and then after this end we can just add an extra weight i'm just gonna add like 0 0.1 yeah that should make a pretty good delay for our little float. So now let's test the script out and close out the script and hit the play button. Let's let this load real quick. Oh, I kind of forgot. Make sure you anchor everything. I forgot to mention that, but anchor every part of it, even the part that's gonna float, since we're gonna change its C frame. As you can see, it's moving quite quickly, but well, I guess it's fine. You can change up the speed and everything in the script. 
make it like a bit slower, like maybe nine at the end of this. Let's test that out real quick. You can optimize this however you'd like. As you can see, it's a bit slower. It's not that smooth, but I mean, if you want to make it smooth, you could make it smooth, but this one's not as smooth. It just looks nice. I guess you could make this longer and make it go much quicker. Whatever. How would it be if you put no delay? You could try this out. Well, it might be too quick since there's only a small delay. As you can see, it's moving so quickly that it's not even moving. So that's why you want to add the delay so you can give it time to actually move. So now we're going to make our like spinning script so it rotates around. So you can either duplicate this script by pressing control D right clicking on it and pressing duplicate. Or you can go to special, press the plus and insert another script. I'm going to rename this script to spin because well, we want it to spin. Now similar to our previous script, we're going to do a while true do because we want it to constantly loop now we're gonna do a delay i'm just gonna paste this in wait 0 0.19 because i already got that copied from the last script so you can add your delay and you can set the time to anything you'd like now we're gonna do script.parent.c frame or again coordinate frame go script.parent.c frame and this time we're gonna multiply it encoding a multiplication symbol is a star by the way not an x because an x is a letter and you, as you can see some things start with an x it require an x to be typed out and it will just get messy so we're going to multiply it by coordinate frame from or dot from yellow ring or yellow i don't know how to say that you'll you'll uh, yeah i really don't know how to say that angles x y z because so that's what the c frame is we want to do 0 0 0.1 and 0 this is x this is y and this is z we want to rotate it should be on the y axis if we go to the part this should be the y axis if we go to its position and we rotate it this way oh yeah that's i'm at orientation Yep, it's the Y axis. Or actually, so we're going to increase the or multiply the Y axis so it can constantly rotate. So let's give this a quick little try. Let's just load up. As you can see, it's rotating. It might be a bit glitchy, but you can go into the script and if you'd like, you can like change up the delay I mean so if you make it too short it might get too quick and it might look a little weird but honestly it's completely up to you and you can make it look exactly how you'd like as you can see this is it a little bit quicker it bounces a lot quicker but the rotate is smoother so you might want to make the floating slower than the spinning but hopefully this video helped you and hopefully you enjoy this video and bye.